reviews, movie review show time thing. Girl Interrupted. I actually liked this. I thought it was well directed. And personally, this was better than One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest because I didn't really like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It's too rigid, the characters and that. Like, you're not getting really into, like, how they feel or anything like that. It's just kind of... They're stuck in... But this is better than that, so... The whole movie, I thought, was pretty well done. There's only one scene that I really didn't like because it felt like a little bit derivative of another diary reading scene in another notable movie. It's Winona Ryder as the main character, even though the best part of this is Angelina Jolie's character. And uh, Angelina Jolie's character is the most interesting part of this movie because she's kind of a bit of a bad influence on people and if you want a movie that covers like psychiatric institutions and stuff th there's not very many that do that it was just an interesting movie it wasn't a typical thing where you can predict they have a little bit of a rocky part and then they end up back together in the end like fuck those movies that do that you don't have any st story to tell like this has got something to tell <clears throat> i give it a nine out of ten I wouldn't pay money for streaming services, though, because they rip you off. 9 out of 10 ghosts, and you should watch it. Um, I hadn't seen it, even though it was a very well-known, notable movie of the time, because it probably was considered more of like a chick flick back then, because people would think, oh, it's girl, it's got girl in the title, and it's about, like, girl's mental institution problems, so must be a chick flick people would say that back then still now probably but it's not it's a good movie see i couldn't deal with these people because they are too contradictory they always contradict themselves gangs of new york this is uh 10 out of 10 9 out of 10 just tells you how how many gangs there really were in new york city in the 1800s when it was mostly irish immigrants nativists like i don't mean native americans i mean white people and all different groups of people in different gangs. You trace the Bloods and Crips, they only started in the 70s or in the 80s. So you might think that that was the beginning of gangs or that there wasn't gangs before then, and that it was all just black people or the only ones that started gangs, but it's totally not true. It shows you that there was gangs all the way back to the history of America. They would fight each other and all the time, even the firefighters would fight the other firefighting teams over what building who gets to put the fire out in the building and then they would just loot the building they show a lot of real things they got Tammany Hall with Boss Tweed here's um, Boss Tweed right there see he doesn't look exactly like the real Boss Tweed but at least you know it's you know who it is it just goes it just shows you the fighting and the gangs and the violence that was there in the 1850s 1860s it's completely dispels the myths that people have now that's like oh gangs are just black people or gangs are just hispanics and look at this movie and you can see that when it was before the black and the hispanic gangs came into prominence the whites had all kinds of gangs this was before the main italian immigration that happened in the early 20th century 9 out of 10, and uh, I even like it better than Martin Scorsese's new movies. Like, Scorsese should just retire and let a new people come along because they can take the attention away from new directors, can't get their movies to be seen because everybody's going to see. Martin Scorsese's and Tint Quentin Tarantino's new movies that are just a bunch of like over-exaggerated violence in the movie to sell it to people. So I think we should just look at Scorsese's and Tarantino's older stuff and uh, their new stuff is kind of shit honestly it's not as good so they've fallen a long way from the way that from the heights that they were once at if Scorsese Raging Bull and Gangs of New York or Tarantino with Reservoir Dogs and Kill Bill and Kill Bill and stuff like that compared to now I mean 10 out of 10 yep see you on next one